Hey fellow tennis nerds, I hope all is well. Uh, today I wanted to talk about the 95 square inch rackets uh, that was the most popular head size uh, some years back and are now becoming quite close to extinct. So I wanted to talk about the current 95 square inch rackets and what makes a 95 square inch racket um, still viable to some and quite uh, you know demanding to most players I would say. So a 95 square inch racket back in the day maybe going 15 years back I would say 10 Possibly, I mean, rackets have changed uh, more than people maybe talk about because the head sizes on average are so much bigger also on the Pro Tour. Still many players on, players on the Pro Tour use 95 square inch rackets. Uh, Murray did use until now, he changed. Uh, Djokovic still uses a 95 square inch uh, Pro Stock uh, instead of his uh, Speed Pro that he endorses. So check out my videos about that on this channel. We have Djokovic still using 95. Uh, Ilya Ivashka, Aslan Karatsev, players who, who can generate their own power and want pinpoint control. And uh, that's really what it's all about for the 95 screen crowd, which is interesting. So it's all personal. I say it every time. You need to find a racket that works for you, that you feel 100% connected to, that you know how it plays and you know where the ball is going. And you're going to have off days, you're going to have great days. That's just tennis and don't play the racket too much if you have a racket you really like. I suggest you stick to that and work on your game. I think that's the most important part. But this whole channel, the idea is that you should find what works for you. And I hope to help you do that. The string setup, the racket setup and so on. What are some current 95 square inch rackets? And in an upcoming video, I will talk about some legendary 95 square inch racket going back in time. But let's, let's look at what's currently available to you from uh, some retailers online. Um, this one I will remove. This is one of the icons, I think, the IG Precision P, but that's not available anymore. So we'll put it to the side. Another icon, 6195, uh, put that to the side. It's not available anymore, unless you go to the Wilson Pro Labs um, website and buy the, the Wilson 6195. There, I think you can still do that. Um, I haven't tried that one if it's uh, about the same or a bit stiffer. Uh, so if you have, please comment below. A racket you can still buy that they brought back, one of the icons of the game used by many pros, is the Head Pro Tour 2.0. So the pros use the Pro Stock PT57A uh, based on the older Head Pro Tour 630 or 280 in the US. This one can still be bought on Tennis Warehouse uh, and probably some other sites. And it's a kind of a reissue, a little bit stiffer, doesn't have Tour on, uh, which was the kind of magic material according to the to many experts on the tennis warehouse forums and, and it does have maybe a little bit of a plusher feel I have uh, You know a pro stock PT 57a and uh, that I'm using from time to time myself But it's still a very good frame despite not having tour on despite not being the the old version Despite being made in China all this stuff is something that they that uh, there's a lot of discussion about uh, on forums and on among racket nerds uh, the made in Austria effect uh, from head is what many people uh, talk about and think is, is the, the, the main ingredient to the good rackets. Not 100% sure that's always the case, but, but I do agree with some of the sentiments. Anyway, the P head Pro Tour 2.0, uh, great racket, uh, very difficult to generate power with. And as you notice with some of these 95 square inch rackets, the sweet spot is going to be smaller than a 100 square inch racket or a 98 square inch racket. It's going to be less to work with. The string pattern generally will be tighter and this one has an 1820 so there's there's not a lot of room for for strings to move and to create more spin so you need to really generate everything yourself you need to generate the top spin you need to generate the power uh, no help from the racket it gives you exactly what you put into it which will require quite advanced players i mean we're talking ntrp 5.5 uh, pretty much i mean u to r8 or something like that i think this player level needs to be very advanced to use this effectively. I mean, I love playing with it, but I'm not uh, strong enough to bring my best tennis with this racket. Uh, if I have a great day, yes, uh, but if I have a so-so a, a day or a medium day, it, it's not gonna be good enough. So uh, beautiful frame to play with, plush feel, ultra control, fast through the air despite the weight, but, but it's very, very advanced. Uh, to use and uh, just a well, great frame maybe to warm up and to get going and to play occasionally But not as as your match frame if you care about your results If you just want to play tennis for the feel and for the enjoyment, which I 100% uh, approve of Then this one is a very good frame. So this is still available to buy at quite a good price Pro Tour 2.0 Head Pro Tour 2.0 
one racket that's very easy to use, relatively speaking, for a 95 square inch racket is the Yonex V-Core 95. This one is many players' favorite, was used by Denis Shapovalov in a previous version, uh, but then he switched to the ESO 98. We'll see what happens for the rest of the year with his racket choice. But this one is uh, very nice, uh, easy to use, some spin from the 1620, quite wide openness here, uh, a little bit more spacing with the 1620 pattern, uh, a little bit thicker beam than the, the Head Pro Tour in its 20 millimeter beam, uh, just a little bit easier, a little bit more for free. Uh, this one can be used like by players from 4.0 upwards, so it's definitely a lot easier than the Head Pro Tour in my mind because you're getting a little bit more for free. I have added some weight to this one because I feel like it's a little bit too light in, in stock form. So I've added weight at 3.9 and at 12. Uh, obviously, you don't, not, you don't need to do that 100%, but, but it helped in this case. So v 95, my modern 95. Another great 95 still around. Uh, another head uh, from Head Prestige Tour. Uh, this is the 2021 version. Uh, the, the old Head Prestige Tour was 99, so that was called Prestige Pro. So this head con confusion with the new naming of the, of the Prestige lineup, you can find all about that in my Head Prestige 2021 review. But the Prestige Tour is a 95 square inch, 1690 pattern, so a bit more open than the Head Pro Tour. Quite hefty swing weight. Mine measures around 340 something, I think 345 or something, and, and it requires kind of a, a lot of player to, to play it. It's a bit too heavy for me in the long run uh, when I'm playing well. Like I said, I, I like it, but, but overall it's gonna punish me a bit too much. But overall, great feeling, good spin, uh, lots to like in this one, a little bit of a throwback to to the good old days, but a little bit of a stiffer layup for, uh, for help with power. Uh, so the Head Prestige Tour uh, 2021 year is important here. Uh, it's very good as a racket. There's also the Dunlop CX200 Tour, which I haven't uh, got here, uh, but that's also a nice frame, 1820 and 1619. Might need some beefing up, but the feeling is super plush. Uh, great frame on impact, so check that one out. A uh, review on this channel, uh, of course. I try to review everything. And the older Prince Extreme Tour 95, you can find that. The newer I didn't try, so I can't talk about it, but some players weren't so happy about the new edition compared to the older one that I have reviewed and really liked. So those are some 95 screen rackets that are all pretty good, still around, but require a lot from the user. So, so when you're using these frames, you really need to have a clear idea of, of who you are as a player and they're gonna punish you more overall. I mean, they're not easy to use. The easiest one is the, the V-Core. 95, uh, although not as, as kind of connected in feel and controlled, it's, it's still a bit easier to get some power and stuff. But 95 screen rackets, uh, I don't think they will be around for many, many more years. Uh, there, there is the target group for those are diminishing and the younger players are generally using 98 or 100 screen rackets. And I think we're, we're more, more of us are kind of transitioning towards those. But I will talk about some legendary 95 screen rackets in an upcoming video. So you know, make sure to subscribe. And if you like the work I do, please join patreon.com slash tennis nerd. And if you want to buy any of these frames, check out my affiliates in the description below. That's it. Have a nice day. Don't forget to drink some coffee. Oh, sorry. Play some tennis.